Hello, welcome to this tutorial on Oracle Database Express. This is using edition 10G. Uh, there is a later edition for sure right now, but I'm using this for teaching reasons. Well, when you double click the icon for Oracle Express, this is what you get. What you get is a tutorial to show you how to use it. What I'm going to do is give you a tutorial on how to use it by following the instructions here. But what you'll see is what you should see when you follow those instructions. So you could run this video alongside your own running of Oracle Database Express for the first time. This may help you and give you confidence. Okay, let's get started. Firstly, open the database homepage login window as you can see I've done here. You find this on Windows under Programs and the name of the application and you find the go to database home page icon and click on it. Well we're here and what we need to do is write in system and the password specified when Oracle Database XE was installed and you know what that is don't you? So I'll click login This, believe it or not, is known as the Oracle Database Express home page. Well, what we're going to do is unlock a sample user account. We need to log in as a database user. This application comes with a sample database called HR, standing for Human Resources. This user owns a number of database tables in a sample schema that can be used to create applications for a fictional human resources department. However, for security reasons, this user's account was locked. You need to unlock this account before you can build a sample application. And that's the procedure we're going to go through. To unlock the sample user account, we click the administration icon here and then we click database users here. Then we click the HR schema icon here to display the user information for HR which is here. Here we see the manage database sorry manage database user and what we're going to do is put in the password and confirm the password which is HR low case. And we're going to make sure the account status is unlocked. Mine is already unlocked because I'd already unlocked it before this tutorial. Yours will be locked like so and you need to unlock it like so. You need to make sure the connect and resource are both enabled. The connect and resource under user privileges. The roles connect and resource. These need to be ticked which they will be. Now we need to click the Alter User button, which is here on the right, so we click that. So we can see a confirmation that the user password was changed and the user altered. Remember, you are the administrator at this point. So next we log in as the sample user account. To do this, we need to log out as the administrator. So here we go. I have repositioned 
so you may see this more clearly, we need to go to log out. We are logging out at administrator and it actually confirms that we've logged out. Next we log in and this time we're going to log in as sample user account. Well, this time we don't want to be system so we're going to log in as the username HR and the password HR which we just configured and log in and we should get the home page again. Next we're going to create an application which is an easy way to view and edit our database data. We create the application based on the employees table which is part of the HR schema. So to create an application based on the employees table on the database home page we click the application builder which is here. Then we need to click the create icon or rather button. We don't want to create from a spreadsheet nor demonstrate an application so we're going to ex accept the default here of creating the application and just click next. We need to have a name for the application. Now it's recommended we have the name my app so I'm going to write in my app and I'm going to accept the defaults I'm going to create the application from scratch and use the schema HR. Now we want to add a page and if you look on the left hand side you can see there is kind of a bit breadcrumb path being created uh, top to bottom here as we go through an iterative menu or like a wizard. We want one of these, we don't want blank, that would not be very useful for us so we're going to choose in fact the report and form. The action describes the type of page we're adding. We need a table name there's none there. What we need to do in this case is click the little icon here with an arrow and up pops some alternatives. Uh, the table we want is employees although there are other tables there. Now we're done so we add the page. And we can see we've got two pages, one a report and the other a form. So we click next. we want the default one level of tabs so we click next this question is about sharing components we don't want to but it is possible to do so creating a more powerful application so we click next we could accept the defaults here however we can use United Kingdom it may not actually apply this is an American product click next we're offered alternative themes these are collections of templates that you can use to define the layout and style of the entire application we're going to choose two theme two and click next Notice you can go back from here to using the previous button. However, we're not going to do that at this time. What we're going to do is create. Notice at the top of this page here, application created successfully is reported back to us. Now we are going to run the new application. So we need to click the run icon and of course we need HR for both the username and the password. 
and here we have the employees listed and if you experiment you'll find that uh, these lists are active in that you can reorder on a key as it were also you can move through the uh, rows by going backwards and forwards and so on as you might have expected to manage the application the developer's tool part is down the bottom here you can edit the application create session debug and so on so this is known as the developers toolbar let's click on edit page one and you can see there's a lot of information here for you to explore there is a breadcrumb you should notice as Oracle calls it which says home application builder application 101 and page definition so to get to back to application builder you can click on that part of the bar or if you want to get back to home the home page you can click on home congratulations you've just created your first application using Oracle Database Express well I'm going to uh, leave it there although Oracle go on to tell you about using the Oracle Database Express menus I hope that has got you started or helped